Emily, if you have not watched James Kayawa's testimony on YouTube, the interview that he did, please go and watch it. This is his name. Go watch his testimony from a devil worshiper, a Satanist, to a Christian pastor. You know what? We have to get out of this mentality of whitewashed American Christianity. That is not what Christianity is about. Yes, Jesus came. He did the finished work on the cross. The cross of Calvary is our grace. It's our salvation. Jesus came to die so that we don't have to die an eternal death in the pit of hell. However, the Bible says, do not fear those that can kill the body but cannot kill the body and the soul because that only God can do. It says those that can kill the body. Family, witchcraft works hard. Christians are lazy. Witchcraft works day and night. Christians are lazy. And this thing that we think that, oh, I am saved. I am a Christian. Witchcraft, evil altars cannot touch me. Generational curses cannot touch me. You are lying to yourself because even though we are saved, even though Jesus died for our sins, even though we are born again, we still sin every day. We are still sinners and Satan needs sin to make covenants, which gives legal right, which gives Christians, uh, which attacks Christians. Few things I want to bring up from this man's testimony. Number one, how he was initiated as a child. He was his mom went to the witch doctor to conceive a son. Many people, even Christians, go to Sangomas to help them in conceiving. Right. That witch doctor said, I'll help you conceive a son, but you bring that boy back to me. That witch doctor, 60 years old, married a one-day-old boy. Why did she marry him? A physical marriage represents spiritual covenant in the spiritual realm. All her spirits, all her demons, all the demonic shrines and altars that she was worshipping, she gave it to that boy. He was put in caves, in caves, locked in caves for days for demons to enter him to fill his spirit. Huh? Number two, did he not say that if there was someone praying fervently in an area, somebody that was rooted in Christ, it would disable witchcraft in that whole area. Did he not say that these, tw these 20 women, that the prayers and the fasting that they were doing, it was going to destroy and disable witchcraft in that whole area for 70 years. This is the power that we stand in. However, we are lazy to stand in our power. We believed, oh, Jesus knows, God knows. Oh, pray and fast. Break curses and covenants. Many Christians, I saw a Christian lady the other day, a few days ago, a Christian woman married. You know what she was telling me? When she goes to bed, three times it happened. Her wedding ring gets taken off her finger, the one she even found it under the mattress. That is generational curses. When we went through the deliverance, it was her great-grandmother who was a witch, who was a ritual was done for her to come and live inside her body through a soul part. If Satan can attack through any small thing, any which way, Christians are lazy. That's why we have a lot of Christians that feel demons coming to have sex with them at night. Stagnation, delay, no progress, no moving forward, attack, sickness, infirmity, you name it. Sexual sin, fornication, Christians are struggling under it because Satan's kingdom works hard. Go watch this man's testimony. Go watch this man's testimony. Right now he is a pastor and he comes from the darkest of the dark kingdom. And yet the light Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, was more powerful than this kingdom that he was serving. That's why I say, break the curses so you can walk in God. Break the covenants. You don't know what was done to you before you. You don't know. One thing that comes up in deliverance over and over is the covenant saying or the demon saying, he was offered to us. She was given to us. You don't know what your 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 ancestors demon worshiping fathers and forefathers were doing but no matter how deep you go into darkness no matter how far you go into satan's kingdom there's one that can pull you out and 
vanquish everything. His name is Christ Almighty. So if you have this thing, of, oh, I'm just going to stay in fornication. Oh, I'll just stay in sin. God knows my heart. Nonsense. Satan is jumping and doing polema kisses on your head. This man's testimony is powerful and it should be an eye opener for all Christians. For those that are not in Christianity, they, he is the way, the truth and the life. There's no other way to explain him. There's no other way to introduce him. There's no other way. His power is above every other power that you will ever find. So if there's people that are watching my videos that are lost, confused, whether they should come to Christ, not come to Christ, seeking the truth. You know how people go through that period of their life seeking the truth. Jesus Christ is your truth. He said, I am, and he will not lie because he was sent by the Father, the creator of heaven and earth, to come and be the truth. And for those who are struggling under demonic oppression, Break those curses. Satan's kingdom is scared of you. No, they will not tell you. They will come at night blowing themselves up as spirits, as ugly togoloshes to come and fear, to make you fearful. Because even that fear is a spirit that feeds off of you. They are afraid of you. They are terrified of you. Your prayers and your fasting, it burns their shrines. It demolishes their work. Yo. God is faithful. God bless fam. Go watch the testimony on YouTube. And then check your life. Oh. Check your life oh, to see where is Satan gathering, where he is he entering. And break those covenants. Declare decree in Jesus' name. God bless you.